and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Pearl Tusi, and this is Behind the Story, the social distancing edition. And I'm very excited to give you an incredible guest. And a guest who I remember I spent, I think, 10 minutes with him. I think it was in Ghana. And I just remember being like, wow, this guy is a star. The multi-award winning. He has some incredible collaborations I want to talk to him about. And uh, he's an incredibly handsome, gorgeous, dark African man. I'd like you to welcome onto the show, Stone Boy. For any South Africans or anyone who's not from Ghana and has never been to Ghana, um, what can you say to them like, growing up in Ghana is like? What was your upbringing in Ghana like? I grew up like, I don't know how Soweto is like, but probably I know uh, I know around, some of the names I've forgotten, but I know around Edenville, I know around the airport, there's one, um, there's one part. It's very popular, it's a place in South Africa, it's really popular, it has all the Africans there, like. Tell me some of the names in Joburg. Oh, popular places in Joburg. Remember. There's Soweto, like there's... Like, filled with Africans, like, proper. There's one, um, one popular There's one place called Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo City. There's one place full of, like, all types of Africans. What's the exactly. place in, um, in town, man? Yoville has a lot of uh, different types of Africans. Yoville, Yoville. Yo 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 he says yes, Yoville. Yoville. Because I know Yoville. I know Yoville. I've been... At a point in time, I came to West and I stayed for, like, a month, you know? Yeah. So I was like, yeah. That was my longest stay. So that's the kind of neighborhood I grew up from. Ours is called Ashaima. You know, mm -hmm. our place is called Ashaima. When when you when you land at the airport, you drive like another 20, 25 minutes without traffic, you know, depending. And you are in Mahood. To cut a long story short, ghetto boy. At the age of 14, you lost your twin brother in a really terrible accident. Um, yeah. I mean... 14 is a very tender age to lose someone you must have been so close to. How did that affect you as a teenager? <laughs> yeah, it got me stronger in the end. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So here we are today. Mm. Yeah, no. what, what do you remember about your brother? Just being teenagers, you know, jumping about, playing football, exploring, and, um, expressing ourselves the best ways and then all of a sudden something like that happens. It just it just it just it just it just, it just got me stronger, you know, at least I know I'm living for two. Mm. Mm. If so, if you knew he could hear you right now, what would you want to say to your brother? Yeah man, we're here, we're running things, you know. And it's it's it's, it's beautiful to know that I'm here in the physical is then the spiritual. So Mm. I believe that whatever I do here is doing the same out there. In South Africa, we had some very unfortunate incidents that included, you know, people getting hurt. Does it ever get violent between Ghana and Nigeria and surrounding countries? It's really very unfortunate to find us as black people, you know. And all I can say is that it's not fine, it's not nice. But I also believe that there are factors that contribute to that. <laughs> invisible factors, <laughs> visible factors that are way beyond the common man's understanding. Most of these factors are poison that we have eaten from years, dec um, centuries mm -hmm. that is still manifesting amongst us because people will just rise and say, yo, I'm South African. No Nigerian in here for no apparent reason. If you ask 10 of them why so, the reasons they give you won't, won't cut. cut. Some of the reasons would be like they're taking our jobs, they're taking our that, yes. But does it qualify for us to kill one another, literally, when in the end, you that is talking, you that has a machete or a gun at your brother, I'm not sure that you have a practical experience of somebody kicking you out and taking in your job on that level <laughs> even us we don't like us you know when black people most important thing is let's all live in love let's all see one another as africans and that's the way forward so i only recently found out about this i had a busy year you know but let me uh, let me ask you this way are you ready let it go <laughs> what have you learned from the vodafone ghana music awards there's only a fool that doesn't 
pick lessons from situations or occurrences, especially when they are directly involved. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, first and foremost, I got to understand a lot of things on some different levels by experience. See? Mm -hmm. This is not me understanding these things on a different level by just hearing it, but mm -hmm. by experience. Mm -hmm. So, um, so to say, on the legal side, I got to learn a lot of things because it was my first time in a certain kind of situation. And also I got to appreciate some of the facts that some of the things that I've been able to put my, you know, some of the things that I've, or I've been able to appreciate me the more for who I am. Mm -hmm. and how far I've come and what I actually stand for. You mentioned the, um, the Grammy moment. Can, oh yeah, there you go. You've mentioned that you've got a certificate for your Grammy for something you were involved in, and I'd love to hear more about that for those who aren't aware of what, um, of what that is for. And um, you've also won a FREMA mm -hmm. Awards, all Africa Music Awards. I don't know what other award you're still hoping to achieve, but first let's talk about the Grammy certificate. I got involved in an, um, the creation of the Abra Kedabra album, Mm -hmm. by Morgan Heritage. Morgan Heritage is a big reggae group, Morgan Heritage, worldwide. And that album was nominated for the Grammys. And by virtue of that nomination, I got to be a part of the nomin nominees as well, you know, by virtue of the album being nominated. So mm -hmm. I just, I mean, long time I was supposed to get that, but one word or other, it just came in the other day. My, my, my manager came from UK and brought it. I'm like, oh, finally, yo! You know?